Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to cancel your whole Stinger subscription in 2023. This step-by-step -step guide will walk you through the process, whether you're switching providers or no longer need the service of uh, Hostinger, or even you have like some other reasons that you personally have or something like that, I don't know. So canceling your Hostinger subscription can be done by following this simple step or by this step-by-step -step guide. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and log in into your host Stinger account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course, in your case, you can, you can use any other browser this could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to the URL section, simply type host Stinger com. Oh, sorry, I'm typing it wrong. So we'll just remove 1G. And yeah, here we are. And hit the enter button to log in into your account. So here, of course, if you have an account, make sure to simply go and log in into it at the top right corner. But if you don't have an account, you'll have to simply go and create your account for yourself. But if you are here in this video, you normally already have an account and you don't have to choose any of those plans. But for example, if you just created your account, for example, and choose one of their plans, depending on what the features, that's comes here, you can stop the video to check them all. And as an example, you, yeah, I don't know, maybe you regretted having the, one of these plans. And of course, you don't just want to pay the next month. You want to cancel as example. Simply, you'll have to log in into your account. So let me just log in into your account. As example, if you click on login here at the top right corner, you'll be able to uh, create an account or sort of log in into your account. You can even do that with Google, Facebook, or even GitHub. If you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or sorry, to log in into your account or even creating your account, you'll be able to choose even the Google, Facebook, and GitHub to create your account so you don't go through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account in this video. So for me, I'm just going to, for me, I just logged into my account. And as you can see here, once you logged into your account, you will find yourself at this page here. What we'll need to do, of course, to cancel our subscription is to access the bill-in section. You will have to navigate to the bill-in or bill information or payments. And you can usually find this option in the account settings or the dashboard. Of course, you can simply click at the top right corner here and click on your account and as you can see from here you will find like account information security account sharing account activity earn with us and get help and as you can see from here we will not find any billing option so what we'll need to do of course simply go and click at the top here billing and if we click on it as you can see we'll find any subscription that we have as you can see currently you don't have any subscription because i already canceled that once i created my account but for you what you'll have to do simply if you, once you click on billing here you'll find or you'll be able to view all the subscription that you have you should see a list of the active like subscription or service uh, you can simply click on the subscription that you wish to cancel and to access its details then within the subscription details you'll find an option to cancel the subscription and this might be labeled as cancel or end subscription you can simply click on this option to proceed once you do so they will ask you or they might not always but they must ask you to provide a cancellation reason host stringer might ask you to provide the cancellation reason or reason for cancellation you can select the reason that best match your situation from the provided reasons from there or you can simply select others if you don't have the reason from the available option then after selecting the cancellation reason, you will likely be prompt to confirm this decision or your decision. Take some time to review the information before proceeding. And before finalizing the cancellation, make sure you're canceling the correct su the subscription that you have. If you have like a lot of, or a long list here, make sure to cancel the right one. And of course, that you understand any potential application. And after that, upon confirming the cancellation, you should receive an email confirmation from Hostinger. And this email will typically include details about the cancellation date and any remaining billing periods. And of course, if you prepaid for the subscription and canceled before the end of the billing cycle, make sure to check for any potential refunds or prorated amounts. And that might be possible on Hostinger. After that, make sure to disable any automatic renewal. So to prevent any future charges, ensure that automatic renewal for the canceled subscription are turned off. This step is essential to avoid any accidental charge. And after that, you will have to verify the cancellation status again. So after like a few days, maybe two or three or even a week, you can log into your hosting your account again to ensure that your subscription or the subscription that you have been successfully canceled is no longer active. Sometimes, Hostinger may uh, activate us again 
or you can as an example or hosting may be have a load a big hold like the website is a bit slow once you cancel the cancellation process did not succeed even if you receive an email and your your subscription is not cancelled but you'll still have it there so make sure to log in into your account after that check if you have it right there if you have it that will be great but if you don't that will be even great for you so you won't have to do anything and other than that of course you can always uh, as an example go and get another uh, subscription if you like regret canceling or something like that uh, as you can see this hosting if you don't know what's about this is a website builder and ho web hosting you can get your web hosting plan and build your websites quickly as you can see normally you'll have to pay 12 dollars per month but for the first month as you can see, you'll simply have to pay this one. And as you can see, plan renews for at $7 per month. You can explore more plans from here. You can find a domain if you want to buy a domain, as you can see. So from here, you'll be able to search domain name availability using our domain checker tool. Type in your desired um, name or domain name and get installed results. You'll find from there if it's already taken, if it's not taken, if you can take it or not, and etc. So if it's taken, you can even, as an example, buy it from the hoster or from the owner of that domain name if you want to get an example for, as an example, let's say your business named test. Let's just go here to t and type test and click on search. Once you do so, you'll find test.com and the normal ones are already taken but you will still want that uh, domain name which is domain name.com as an example so simply you will have to go and get or give the owner uh, a price if you want to buy his domain name and of course you can even as an example in hostinger use this generate domain using ai so as an example you can simply write here a short description about your project example non-profit organization that helps plan three as an example i'm just going to type here i don't know like organization for i don't know editing videos let's see something like that for editing videos for a cheap price and simply click on generate and they will generate for us a good domain name that we may use as an example you will have to wait for this until it loads and finish and they will give you as an example so they give you some domain names that may be helpful you can read them out and if you want them you can simply go and buy the domain and you'll be good to go so if you reached this point of the video, congratulations, canceling your horse singer uh, subscription can be a simple process by following these steps. You can simply log in into your account, access the subscription, subscription details from billing, provide the cancellation reason, confirm your decision, and verify the cancellation via email com confirmation. Remember to check for any refunds or prorated amount and disable automatic renewal to prevent future charges by completing these steps you can effectively or efficiently cancel your hosting or subscription and manage your online service as needed so if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one and i'll see you in the next video